Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another Tesla vlog with me, Adam Well Informed. So recently I've been taken back from some of your comments from my recent videos saying how shiny and clean my Tesla Model 3 looks. Firstly, I'm flattered some of you think that. And what a better way to repay the compliment than to share my new updated method for my regular car wash with you. If you follow my Instagram, I recently purchased a few extra cleaning products for the car to give it that extra crisp finish, which forms this updated method. This video is a sequel to my most recent interior clean video, but this sequel focuses purely on getting a glossy looking Tesla Model 3 from just a weekly clean. If you haven't seen my interior cleaning magic, I'll link it on the screen now. Moving back to this week's video, as you can see there's a significant build up of dirt that has accrued from around 4 weeks of everyday driving, which is longer than I'd like to leave before washing it. I do try wash it every 2-3 to three weeks on a weekend around my family arrangements and you may even see my little apprentice dressed as Spider-Man in the background. You'll see that the dirt has collected in the usual places such as the leather seals, the boot and around the wheel arches. The front is not so bad, the wet look on the bonnet at the moment is just mountain dew. <laughs> I mean morning dew. Before I really get into the secrets of how easy it can be to get your Tesla Model 3 shining, just take a look at these end results. As we get closer, I'm particularly proud of how we can see the house in the reflection pretty clearly and the panels are super smooth to touch, there's no grainy feel to it. If you're wondering if I have PPF or ceramic coating to achieve this look, then the answer is no, I don't. So literally, this can be achieved straight from day one, whether you have paint protection or not. This could work for you as a weekly clean too. If you are a subscriber, you know that I always post videos weekly, but last week booked the trend for me. Unfortunately, during a short visit to the Shetland Islands in Scotland, I had a couple of flight cancellations, which also led to an unexpected overnight stay in a ferry. And whilst I enjoyed the encounter as best I could, it did mean I decided to skip releasing this video last week but rest assured, we should be back to weekly uploads moving forwards. I will also link any product that I use within the video in the description below, and I will also be in my kit list if you're interested in looking at the product or buying it. I've also broken down the video into sections, so you can easily go back after watching the video and go directly to the cleaning section that you want to cover again. So let's get into it. Step 1 is this snow foam from Valet Pro. It has become a staple to the beginning of every wash that I do. Snow foam is widely available from different brands, but I use Valet Pro for the distinct reason that it's pH neutral. So it's super kind to the paintwork, which can be particularly important if you have some sort of paint protection too. Get the wrong snow foam and it can affect your protection. For this, you'll need some form of snow foam lancer. I use a bog standard one that came with my Bosch compact pressure washer, but it does the job just fine. Lather this all over the car, don't be shy, cover the whole car and the purpose of this is to just start breaking down that dirt and dust. You'll see further down the line how it pays dividends when it comes to the shampoo stage. It's important to stress this does not replace the car washing process but it will kickstart the process in style. Step 2. We move on to the reverse rinse and like most of these products you mustn't leave the snow foam on for too long and let it dry out. Leave it on only for a few minutes and proceed with the rinse. Having a quick look around, we can see it's probably shifted just 5% of the dirt only. But what's really important is how easy it will be to remove the remaining dirt in this next stage. Step 3. With my Meguiar's Gold Class Shampoo and Conditioner with a 2 bucket wash system, if you're not familiar with this 2 bucket procedure, the purpose of this is to try to eradicate the possibility of dragging grit from the washing mitt over your paintwork. By having one warm water bucket with the shampoo diluted and another just pure warm water, we can dunk the mitt in the shampoo, clean the car and then dunk and wipe the mitt in the warm water. This should help break down and remove the grit from the mitt. You can get purpose built buckets which have grills in the bucket to assist with the rubbing of the mitt process but any attempt will help reduce the chances of cross contamination and smearing grit over the paintwork. So before I delve deeper into the process, please remember to support my channel by hitting the like, subscribe and the notification bell, such a quick gesture really helps me out if you enjoy Tesla content like this. Using a two bucket process, we start washing the windows all around and the upper part of the bonnet. I start here because there's less likely to be nasties such as grit and dirt here. I'm reducing the chances of smearing something from say the door sills to the glass. It's just a numbers game and I find the focus approach works for me. After that we proceed with the rinse again. 
For step 3.2, my focus turns to underneath the windows, which I can only explain as the upper panels. If there is a better name for it, please do let me know. Maintaining the two bucket method here, as we are likely to see more dirt and grit here than the windows. From this clip here, the combination of the snow foam and the shampoo is just perfect. Clear defined lines start to appear between the dirt and the clean panel. Remember not to press too hard, as then again you could force bits into your paintwork unnecessarily causing scratches. I continue to go around the car, cleaning the midsection of the boot and the tops of the wheel arches too. So here I'm just using my secret weapon on the back of my Maguire mitt to remove the bugs. The mitt literally has the back design to remove bugs and I haven't needed to purchase another product to remove the bugs as a result of it. And once again, it's time to rinse that shampoo down. Final step for the shampoo stage is to clean the dirt vested sills around the bottom of the wheel arches, the bottom of the door panels and finally the bottom of the old booty gets a good clean but literally the dirt is falling off with just a tiny bit of pressure. Yet again we are rinsing the shampoo and this is probably the most satisfying rinse as it's when the cleaning effort really starts to show. Step 4. Wheel cleaning. This probably deserves more attention than people grant it. I'd say your wheels and tyres are like your teeth. Keep them clean and they become one of your standout features. Don't get food stuck in your teeth, I mean just clean the damn wheels. I'm not actually using any special products here to prove a point, just the same diluted shampoo as before. You could use a dedicated wheel cleaner here, but Teslas don't tend to suffer from brake dust issues. If you do have a wheel cleaner recommendation, do let me know in the comments as I am actually in the market for one. Also try cleaning your wheel arches too, as dirt can really build up here. If the wheel arches are like your tongue, as soon as you stick your wheels out, your bad breath would be exposed. Not a good look. Then we just buff the wheels with my Glot, super absorbent towels, super quick and easy, leave no watermarks despite the minimal effort. Step five, so I have these three Glot super absorbent microfiber towels. I wash these towels after every car wash and they suck up the water just as you'd want them to. I start off with the windows first and then I move slowly down just like the previous car shampoo procedure. Here with every step, the definition of the pearl paint is really starting to shine through. I love the pearl white for this particular reason. Oh, don't forget to open the boot and the doors to clean your ass cracks of the car. For the true origin of the joke, see Jeeb's Model Y Xeria Clean video. Step 6. So now your wheels and your tyres are clean and dry. Great. Here we want to glaze the sidewall with Meguiar's Endurance Tyre Gel. This stuff is like the hydrogen peroxide of your teeth, but for your wheels. Seriously, just squirt it onto an applicator pad, rub it around the side wall of the tyre. This not only turns your dull black tyres into a glossy wet look tyre, but it also helps prevent the tyre from cracking too. Cosmetic yet practical, and it smells damn fine. If you want them extra glossy, you can even do more than one coat. Step seven, the penultimate step to the exterior clean process is the sealant spray. Now this stuff should work wonders when combined with the Zeno car polish product, but this is just a frequent car wash video and I wouldn't polish your car every week. But the purpose of this product is to put a thin glazed layer on top of the paint just to help give the paintwork a glossy, wet look but also helps repel dirt and dust. I just squirt it on a panel, then rub and buff with the Glart microfiber towel to help it bed in. Also try not to hit your charger point like I just did. Before going to the final cleaning stage, let's just take a quick look to absorb and appreciate the work so far.
Even my little apprentice gave up hope for me to enjoy the UK sunshine here. The pale part of the white really picks up the sun and I think the sealant spray just helps that stand out that little bit more. The lower door comparison is just a great example of how the snow foam car shampoo combination works. There's just one more step that I want to cover and that's cleaning the windows. I recently invested in this Valet Pro window cleaner and another microfiber cloth. When using this, remember not to use it in direct sunlight or you will get smears. I learned the hard way in that one not too long ago. So I parked out the sun, sprayed directly on the window, wiped straight off with the microfiber cloth. No messing around. Was it just me or does the sky look really visible in the reflection now after I clean that window? And just before I show you the final end result, you can see this bird has crept in my car. Nice. So for the end result, this is what we've all been waiting for. The final look, the glossy wheels, the shiny paintwork. I hope this just gives you confidence that an average guy like me can buy a few products online and get it to look like this. With just over an hour's work, if it had just purely cleaning and no recording, this is what the end result would look like. So what do you think? Do you like it? Has it given you any confidence to try something a little different to what you're used to? Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. I really enjoy doing these Tesla vlogs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.